Hello chat. <clears throat> I think I have filtered out the lawnmower, but if you can hear it at all, I apologize. Uh, where's the button? Hi. <laughs> it me. Um. I don't know why the points are broken. I don't know. Um, I like as, presumably eventually they'll fix themselves later but I don't know when that's gonna be anyway let me get caught up real quick Beanie will still it's a paste day so Beanie has some paste Zia Leon Kuro Flamingo hello Naki Juice Snaz welcome in Amorexis Glitter hello Alice, hello. Munchkins, Trina. Uh, Jojo, hello. We will do the pets, of course. Wait, if there are pets, are there treats? Maybe it's because the pets don't have any limit on them that they're available. We can only pet. Okay, wild. Great. What do you smell? What is this? Is it a seed? Did you bring this in from outside? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Technical issues cannot stop me. True. True. Tam, thank you so much for the 33 months of the tier 2, which does come with a beanie treat. There, there are ways around the points being broken. Also, Gumball, welcome in. Hey, enjoy your lurk. <clears throat> Whoa. Looking over the face. Grab the treats. Clean this little boy's face. Yeah, you got some eye boobies right here. Hold on. It's good, man. Yeah. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> that better? I bet it is. What's this one here? A little dried piece. Much better. Mm -hmm. All right, we have one. Yes, we have one treat and the paste. We'll do the paste first and then the treat. We'll see if he tries to ditch out on the visible treat once the paste is gone. He is a good boy. He's uh, he's very good about having his face cleaned. I mean, it has to feel much better for him, too, to get that gunk out of his eye. Yes, this is Baney's paste. This, there's nothing here on the stick yet, sir. Hi. Can Baney sit? Yeah. Thanks. Dude. Okay, this is Beanie's medicine. Hold on just a minute, buddy. He likes he likes paste possibly better. Almost certainly better than treats, which is not to say that he doesn't like treats. And other such. Uh... He likes, I think I mentioned this before, he likes potatoes. All right, let's, uh, you want to come up here? Good boy. Yummy, yummy paste. 
Yeah, what good medicine? What a good boy. He's so good. Are you done? Nom. Nom. Now you are going to have a treat. Hang around for the treat, Manny. Hey, son. Hey, purple. Enjoy your lurk. Are you all done licking your chops? <laughs> okay. Look at those claws. <laughs> Will we have a special celebration when the chump counter reaches 87 days? MSLP gun. My my ass almost said, why would why would that be special? So smart chat. <laughs> we'll see. What I mean, I advanced it, but should I even have advanced it like we're done with treats, but are we? Like there's probably more treats later. I don't know. For anybody that's just getting in, uh, channel points seem to be broken on items that have limits. So, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. Any who's <laughs> It's a nails day, and... I've been kind of sick of my nails and one of the peelies of the scoop marble popped off and then when I was reaching to pet a cat literally this is a true story I was reaching to pet Charlie and I mean y'all know I'm extremely graceful and I just like into the chain link fence and uh It flexed the nail and turns out it actually was a break and it was pretty low. So now this is our current situation because I didn't want to patch it. We don't have a nail. We just have a nail bed. And I know y'all are always like, oh my God, Colette, your nail beds are so long. But like, this is not comfortable. Uh, But like, it's okay. We'll deal with it. It'll be fine in like two weeks. Nah, if I was in a better mood, I might have tried to patch it because it was a very, it was a very, uh, like it was pretty minor. Like it certainly would have been more comfortable probably to wear a patch, but then I don't know. I feel I have like ob feelings of obligation to myself. Like once I patched it, it's like, well, now you got to try and keep up with it. So, I didn't take everything else down that low, but we're pretty short. We're pretty short. Watch streak, too. Hmm. Hopefully when points come back, that comes back. It makes sense that they're connected. Because it's like a once a stream thing. <clears throat> I've seen the, uh, like, all redemptions not working before. Like, it has happened, but, like, it's pretty rare. I don't know if I want to reshape my nails anymore. Like, I feel like I did a pretty decent hack job. Oh, white balance, please, for the love of... Oh... <sighs> huh? But the question is, the true question, the actual question. Hi. What? <laughs> is which of these I'm putting on? Is 
Now, I probably would add a topper or two if I were to wear the teal. Like the purple, like, I mean, obviously the purple doesn't need any toppers. The purple has a very lot going on all on its own. But like, and I mean, obviously purple, but honestly, the formula on this is absurd. Like, yeah, this is like, a, a, you know, a lovely layering of different glitters and stuff like that. And it's like a purple that I very much like. But y'all know I also love teal. And this formula fascinates me. Yeah, Flamingo. Like, the thing is, especially, like, obviously this is like a, a cousin to the Frosted Metals, right? As far as, like, the metallic reflectivity but the saturation of color that's achieved here right like if you think about like the darker like frosted metals like they all still read like silver at sometimes like sil silvery black you know what i mean this is straight up metallic teal it's not like silvery teal it's metallic teal yeah yeah, I honestly, like, it's kind of weird. It's like, almost just did wanted to skip a manicure, but I would like to have my nails done. So we're just, we're going to do something simple. We do have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the swatches that we did of toppers over the teal. Oh, the pink. Remember we were thinking about the pink flake. Oh, yeah. Mm. so interesting mm. I feel like the pink flake would probably need something like maybe scattered or reflective yeah it's I mean, or maybe I just do it on its own. Or maybe I embrace the dark side and do it with the black flake. Mm. Hold. So, this is uh, inside job and teal no lies by the anyway by the anyway <laughs> by the way if anyone is not like in in the know uh I'm really tempted to go or like the silver in the black oh my god teal silver black I would want to go like sparsely or maybe just the teal and the silver oh I don't know this is god decisions decisions the, the benefit of the purple would be I wouldn't have to make any other decisions Right. purple or teal and decisions <laughs> uh, yeah the ring the ring light doesn't really show it to best advantage although I mean it does give a, a slightly different vantage but the uh, the pink flake which I thought I still had out Mm. I do. Such like eighties vibes. Mm. 
I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not, unless you just mean like color wise. Cause like, I'm not doing any nail art. I, I barely want to do my nails at all. I don't have it in me to do like, and part of me, there, there is a little voice too that I'm ignoring because I've already decided I'm putting on one of these two, but I, there's a nail art that I kind of want to do with both of these. And then part of me is like, well, maybe you shouldn't wear them on their own if you're going to wear them in a nail art together later, because they still deserve to be appreciated on their own. Oh yeah. I feel like this is not quite dark enough for Hikate. I feel like, uh, I don't know if I have it out. Like, like maybe like more existential crisis-y purpley plummy. Maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> oh. I'm okay. You guys can't hear that. I don't think I'm, I'm quite tired. I'm much less congested. I can pretty much breathe. So that's nice. Still, you know, working a little bit of mucus out of my system, but Oh, I'm sorry, rat. Yeah, I, I mean, it only, only a, yeah, mm. yeah. <clears throat> Tiny slight spoilers, I do apologize. Do I have the rest of these toppers out? Still? Is this the black? Yes. Also, we've discussed this before. Doing a whole manicure just of this. <sighs> the camera, maybe if I turn off the ring light. I think I've shown this before, but like, It's surprisingly sparkly and not only completely black. That's not today though. That's some other time. Wait, how many was that? If I ever replaced my ring light, I would get one with like a little digital thingy. So I didn't have to actually feel the thingies <clears throat> okay so there's the black the other ones are lunar and the silver and the gold and I think no this is a hollow Oop. Okay, the silver and the gold are evading my gaze. I don't know why the pink and the black would still be out and the silver and the gold would have been put away. That was silly of me. Hmm. Ah, okay, wait, they're literally right here though. Okay, we have the pink and the black. We have the silver and the gold. Although I, I'm not really leaning toward the gold flake. Although I mean like with this, I was going to say silver and gold and teal together also could be like a vibe. Because like if I do a topper, I think I want to do two toppers. Probably. Also, I'm kind of tempted to test some of the other unicorn skins on top of it. But also, I don't really feel like doing any testing at all. Maybe I, maybe I just do the purple. Then I don't have to make any of these decisions and we can wear the teal later. 
I think I want to wear, I, I kind of want to actually wear the teal more than the purple, which is strange, but I just don't know what I want to wear the teal with because, you know, indecision. Also, because I think they go really nicely together. Hmm. Okay, don't put the silver and the gold away again, number one. Do I need to do any more shaping on my nails? Is another good question. So I did this like last night after stream. I had already, uh, I had already taken off the rest of the, the manicure. Weed whacker. And then I just, I don't know. I was going to say evened it out, but like, I'm not going to try to get even with that. It's not like badly shaped. I don't know how bad it's going to look once it's painted. I guess we'll see. I didn't realize it was going to be quite that low once I got rid of the part that was split. Or I may have reconsidered. But by the time by the time I realized it, I was past the point of no return. Like cutting bangs. Mm -hmm. Just shape these up just a tiny bit. I kind of wanted to skip it, but like I didn't even have an extra light on last night. So I should at least just give them a cursory look over. It'll be kind of interesting to see if anybody even notices when the points come back because so many of the points are things that traditionally get used and sold out at the beginning of stream. So people sometimes don't even bother to check for them later in stream. I wonder, is anybody noticed this problem in other streams today? Like it seems, like I said, pretty out of the ordinary, not completely unheard of, but. Like, this nail just always looks so freaking uneven, but I think it'll look better once it's painted. It's just got, like, an extra curve to it. Like, it looks normal there, but then you look here and it looks weird. I was also mad some of my I lost half the peely of my favorite scoop marble chat we only got half the peely I don't know what happened to the rest of it very very sad 
very very sad this also um this probably is fine my uh dish is quite dirty after a scoop marble too I'm gonna clean it out some before I use it otherwise I could end up making my nails blue instead of just like you know obviously cleaning them okay nice Trina did you catch a sale or just some stuff you'd been eyeballing or just you know going to Target and then seeing that there's nail polish whoa now this is a glitter polish but I'm still gonna use long-lasting base because I don't know how long I'm gonna have this on and I want to be able to just enjoy it and I know exactly where my nail clips are if I end up needing them. Hey, plants. <gasps> Excuse me. Welcome in. Mm. Okay. Ooh, that's a good deal. I feel like that's a super good deal nowadays. Like, polish is pretty expensive. Prepping with a little bit of acetone. We've only been going a half an hour. I, I had decided not to take a bathroom break and then now I'm like, should I take a bathroom break? And it's like, we've only been going half an hour. Nice flamingo. You had teal no eyes on, right? Barely any underside to that nail. Oh, the tortoise shell. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, Teal No Lies was before that. That tortoise shell was so good. I mixed up the order. Okay, now I can hear screaming children. I would rather hear a lawnmower. At least a lawnmower, I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I feel like, unless it's like a really horrible lawnmower, like a lawnmower is the kind of a steady drone that I can just tune out as like white noise. Like it doesn't super bother me. But I know some people would be like in disagreement with that perhaps. Then we'll have to see when I can fit in. Edit another little speed paint for this. Add a little something to it, plants. 
That's always fun. Kisses? Like Hershey kisses? What kind of kisses? <laughs> Why does my mind immediately go to candy? Hansen and Ring Pop. Oh my god. I did not mean to be quite that messy. Short nails can be trickier to wrap the edge. It's kind of weird. Because it's like your skin gets in the way. More mowing? God, is this like another neighbor or is the same person just like... Keep stopping and starting. I can't see them, so could be either. Wrap the skin. I mean, I guess that is what a good cleanup brush is for. Yeah. I mean, and you know, obviously, got to get it done. But it's kind of sad because the neighborhood was just looking really adorable, like a fucking neighborhood was looking like a fucking Stardew Valley skin, right? Like a whole bunch of like dandelions and violets all over the place. Just like red, like really a lot of uh, yellow and purple flowers. It just felt very springy. That was just like boring. <laughs> Ooh, moon cat sale. I I don't have any moon cat. I could see going down a deep hole if I ever. <laughs> Purposely forgetting. Hmm. Okay, filter still filtering that. 
Honestly, the filter is wild. It's so loud to me and y'all can't hear it because I put the filter on. Or at least that it claims that you can't hear it. And nobody's complained about it. But I, the fact that I can hear it makes me self-conscious about it even though there's literally nothing to be self-conscious about. And if that isn't just fucking absurd. Hey, Hazel, welcome in. Thermals are a lot of fun. When you have edges. Well, when you don't have edges, too, you can still play with the thir thir thermality. Thermalness. Thermosity. <laughs> Probably none of those words. Yeah, I know a lot of thermals are like uh <clears throat> the the color change in them is limited. I don't know if it like is there only one thing that makes it a thing? I don't I don't understand how color change polishes work. think yeah I was gonna say it's easier to tell when peely base is dry than when long lasting is dry but I think we're ready for the next coat here <laughs> I don't hear you la 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 <laughs> all right poor <clears throat> it amuses me when that happens like I mentioned last time if I clear my throat before recording even when I'm not going to say anything also uh, yes I am aware <gasps> oh there's a fur that alerts are not muted it's okay we're not doing a tutorial we're just doing a speed paint now i do expect to have to do some cleanup but i'm trying to not have too much because sometimes glitters can be a little bit tricky like the actual glitter pieces hmm. that one had quite a lot of squares I actually tried to pick some of them up Hold the left index nail. Shape's not horrible, but gosh, is it short. And honestly, I probably could have made my I feel like ring ring finger looks long compared to middle nail. It's, it's they're so small, even just small differences stand out, I suppose. Hi, welcome in, Sonia.
I think three coats is recommended for this. It's really tempting to want to just like go and glom on the second coat instead. Also, Munchkins, world famous Munchkins in my Twitch chat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That video where Christine featured you. Plenty of beanie here to go around. I tagged you in it I, when I posted it to Discord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and I quote, <clears throat> this is not my quote, this is a quote from Munchkins. I want to put it on my face. <laughs> the nail polish chat, the nail polish. <laughs> God, it does look like like why some company should make fucking face masks that look like that. Why why can't we have face masks that look like that? And all I gotta use a bunch of face masks to be like oogling their their marbly color flow, but <clears throat> it's in uh it's in it's in Discord. It's in the Polish channel a couple days ago. It's a YouTube short. <laughs> so we're not quite there yet we're gonna do i'm really gonna try and be not glom on second coat then second coat then third coat right right I mean, even this was not like a thin first coat, but it's because I was trying to get some, you know, some squares spread out on there. This nail really did get a ton of squares. Look at that. Wow. Pling. <laughs> I mean, what else is expected to happen during Dream Daddy? <laughs> All right, no glom. Holy moly. Look at all that cannoli. I don't know what else rhymes. <laughs> oh, it's so good. 
Yeah, yeah, I saw it and I was like, wait a minute. Munchkins? I know munchkins. Mm I am I am gonna do a third coat. I think, but like two coats, even on non-glom status, I think could be perfectly, perfectly doable. Non-glom status. I feel like I have a wide gap on the middle finger. Should I try to fix that? Should I try to do something about that? brush or something <laughs> Doesn't that look so much better? Dude, now now this is dangerous knowledge. Now I know y'all all done seen like the Russian manicures or whatever, and they're like shloop and they're like up to the cuticle by a micron like an atom but like that looks so much better and now like my eye just goes to like this spot and i'm like i like i could just like bloop. like i this is dangerous for me personally dangerous knowledge I mean, I'm still probably going to need to do a little bit of cleanup, so it doesn't even have to be perfect. This this is such danger. I would just always be... I mean, usually it's not even this much of a problem. Usually, if anything, I'm getting overly enthusiastic with the amount of polish around my cuticles. But my caution not to get glitter everywhere. ended up with that as the result I actually that was like that like actually works so slick I mean that's usually what I do partly because this is what happens when I don't like sometimes you can get like that flawless brush spread that flawless application that flawless whatever but I would rather like overpaint it a little bit clean it up neatly than like have like too big of a gap and then like Although, like, that was very satisfying. Like, I, I could just make a video and call it the most unsatisfying, too satisfying manicure ever. And I could just do, like, like really big gaps everywhere and then come in with a little brush around the edges and do the edges over everything. Mm. But yeah, like, also, some formulas... Like, this is a pretty hefty glitter formula, right? It's staying where I put it. 
it's not runny at all some formulas are gonna drift more some formulas are like actually runny and will just you know they're gonna end up in your cuticle almost no matter what you do so you got to take that into consideration as well all hail the cleanup brush yeah but even with this i mean you know i could i could see like the fucking chubby sidewalls come into play you know Yeah, that's, I mean, honestly, that was one of my complaints about it, too. Although, possibly it could be said that a small cleanup brush is more versatile than a large cleanup brush. I mean, eventually, with a small cleanup brush, you can do everything that a large cleanup brush can, but a large cleanup brush can't necessarily do everything a small one can, right? I guess, kind of. Um, but like you guys know, like my main cleanup brush is like very large and I love it, but I like the hollow taco brush for getting like into the cuticles if that's like a problem like if you get stuff that's just like down in there it's a little bit too much for my brush to get to <laughs> really i'm i don't know if i've tried that i have tried an angled cleanup brush before i'm kind of wishing i tied my hair back before i started I have tried an angled cleanup brush before and I prefer a straight one, but to each their own. It, it really depends on your nail shape, on the way you hold it, on the way you like to work. Like literally whatever works for you is the best one for you. Like we probably could stop here, but I'm going to do the third coat. Yeah, I wonder, you know, would be interesting to see. Just drop an innocent inquiry to Holo Taco customer service. Hi, I was wondering if it's possible to buy this brush separately. I swear, I feel like, like when you hear the stories of Holo Taco customer service, I feel like Christine told those people to never tell the customer no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hmm. They're the nicest fucking customer service. Mm. Or maybe they will come out individually at some point. Hmm. <laughs> Well, the thing I think with that, McScooterson, is the hand cream isn't actually scented. The ingredients are scented, so they would have to come out with, like, a second formula hand cream, I think. My understanding. <clears throat> but that would be, that would be nice. That looked weird when I made my fingers look almost all the same length. Strange. Okay, stop that. <laughs> stop that. Mm. She hinted it was being considered eyes. Okay.
Yeah, I think that's worth. You can see, right? That third coat does add a little something, something, doesn't it? Yee. <laughs> Flight of the Monarchs. That's this, that's that orangish one, right? That's very spring. I don't know what Merkitten is. Yeah. Yeah, well, because the main... The main scent that it has, I think, is from the Argan Milk. Because when I first got it, I was like, God, what does this remind me of? And it was, it reminded me of when I had had some, uh, some Argan oil for my hair. Like, that's just, yeah, the Argan smell. Hot pink with blue shimmer. Ooh. That, that also seems very, 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 uh, springy. Three two so just just a tiny bit more deeper color a little bit more depth to the glitter yeah could certainly certainly get away with two coats Then we'll do just a bit of cleanup and then one or two top coat. And then we'll be done. And then there's no what happens.
Oh, you've never worn it before? That definitely, like, adds a point in its favor. At least a point. Okay. We do a bit of cleanup, we do a bit of top coat. Now, I didn't try anything particularly hard other than in a few cases, like maybe an extra stroke as far as dealing with the squares. And I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the distribution that we have here. Now, is there a part of me that wants them like perfectly evenly distributed? I mean, obviously you guys know me, but, um, I think it's pretty good. <clears throat> a merkin and a cat. <clears throat> now like i said this is already pretty neat but especially the side walls is where i want to clean up That's Mr. Clark Barkin. I thought I heard something. Like a little bug. Like a, a wings whirring, buzzing sort of a... Like, I don't know, I'm like, my window's open. I don't know if it's outside or in my room. We must be alert and vigilant. Prepared to take action if needed. I keep hearing it. I wish I, wh whichever it is, whether it's inside or outside, I wish I could just see it. Like, I can fucking take care of it if it's in here, if I know where it goddamn it is. Even with wet nails. Benny doesn't seem concerned. Which may indicate it's outside, or it may indicate that Beanie doesn't love me, you know. Fend for yourself human type of vibes. Oh, we're right there. Okay. Hey, Jaken, welcome. So, I know it's subtle, but like cleaned, not cleaned. Just like nicer. 
even with a fairly, fairly neat application. <laughs> I I really should have tied it back before I started, but that would be risky at this point. I'm willing to risk it for bugs, but I'm not w willing to risk it for this. Because it's not even actually in my way. It's not obscuring my vision. I just wish that it would all stay back. Mm -hmm. Also, yes, Jaken. Also. I don't really feel like doing my nails. I mentioned last night on stream, it's like, I feel like 98% hopeless with this YouTube situation, but I don't want to give completely up until this last 2% of hope is completely uh, what is the word? Like, until it's like 100% hopeless. The YouTube situation is they have basically stopped putting ads on my videos on my main channel. So... That's just very frustrating right now. And as as most of you know, I already have a very love-hate relationship with YouTube and it's stressful and it pisses me off and I hate editing. So like That is a thing. Supposedly for invalid activity. Which I disagree with. But even if it is, the way that they're displaying it and the way that they're going about it is not... Like, I've, I've never had this much frustration working with partner support. You know. Which, I mean, is what you're supposed to do as the, you know, official support channel. Eh. Stock. Yeah. It means... So the, the thing is... Everybody's like, oh my god, invalid activity. There's always a certain amount of invalid activity on any YouTube channel. Invalid activity is any viewer, ad viewer, ad click that they determine was not due to genuine viewer interest, etc. The thing is, there's no amount of invalid activity um, unless they're dinging me for something that has happened previously, in which case I, I believe that you should communicate that. But there's no amount of invalid activity that should be able to impact the whole entire channel's worth of revenue. Well, I guess maybe I shouldn't say there's no amount, but like there's not there's nothing suspicious in my reporting. Most of my traffic fucking comes from YouTube's own features, right? It's not like a whole bunch of you know, traffic coming from some weird website with videos embedded in sketchy fashion or whatever. You know, kind of like you hear about that with Twitch, you know, it's not viewbotting nowadays, it's embedding, and they embed their stream on some website where people don't even realize that they're watching the stream because it's in some pixel down at the bottom. So, like, if you get a deduction for that, like, okay, like, usually there's maybe a couple dollars per month not the whole entire month and not the complete removal of ads 
in response. Like even they say ads may be reduced. They're not reduced. They're gone. They're fully <sighs> fucking gone at the moment. As far as I can tell. Yeah. And there's no path for human review or escalation. The system has determined, right? Okay, well, whatever, but you still need to give me an explanation for why. And like partner support just keeps giving me these canned answers that like, number one, don't specifically address the issue that I'm telling them about. And number two are like basically contradictory. It's just, it's... And, and they can't even say how long it's going on for. So I am, I, I have at this point given up with partner support. If, if they were to suddenly connect me with somebody that gave a shit, I would be actually shocked, but I have reached out to some of my other contacts and I have a slight slim hope of something coming of that, but like, I just, I can't, I, I don't have the energy to be hopeful about it when it just doesn't feel like a very hopeful situation. If it actually ends up like somehow like turning around and turning out like that would be such a great, wonderful surprise. But I would rather like expect the worst at this point, which is that it's not getting fixed anytime soon. In which case, like, <laughs> yeah, but like, I, there, there's, there's, there's not an outlandish amount of views on my videos. Let's put it that way. Like the channel has been dying for years. I accept that, but like it was, it was, it was being productive enough that it was still worth doing. And if, if this stays like this, like they, I just, I'm, <laughs> If this continues, it's basically not. Like... <sighs> I do... I am still getting premium revenue. I am still getting my memberships revenue. Um, Like, they, they haven't kicked me out of the program. They haven't demonetized my channel. None of my videos have, like, the yellow dollar sign that maybe you've heard about. They're just not serving any ads according to what I can see in analytics. I mean, I, she doesn't have any control over YouTube. I've reached out to the people that I do know at YouTube and it, the thing is it's not their area. And I don't know if it's become one of those things where it's like, the system is unquestionable even if you're inside the system. Do you know what I mean? I might reach somebody that would like to help me that, you know, thinks and can see that there's a problem and they still can't do anything for me is how I feel at this point because the system has determined that there's enough invalid activity to justify doing this. Yeah, I appreciate it, Munchkins. And I love my YouTube community, but like... I just get so sick of dealing with shit at YouTube. Mm. It's just very, very discouraging. And the, t like, the tone of partner support, like, I don't know, maybe I'm reading more into it than I should be, it's email, you know, whatever, but, like, fucking don't patronize me. I've been monetizing my videos probably longer than you fucking worked at YouTube, you fucking idiot. Don't link me the same article that doesn't answer the question I'm asking you for the 18th time. Anyway. Manually adding ads? No. I mean, like, sponsorships? Like, yes, but like, no. 
<laughs> like the the amount of idiotic sponsorship offers I receive is astronomical, but like even this doesn't make me want to start taking them up on it. <clears throat> That's sweet, Zia. I love the fact that like my tutorials are helpful to people and stuff. And a lot of my community on YouTube has been there for a long time. Like I'm not, I would not like say I'm never uploading to YouTube again, but I would just, you know, not try to maintain a once a week upload schedule because why am I busting my ass for YouTube when they just don't care about me as a creator? I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'll be surprised. Uh oh, did I just... I might have to fill in that little corner chat. Now that's bothering me and now I know it's possible. <laughs> I mean, I've met Neil. <laughs> Not like one-on-one, -on -one, but like... I've, I've been to YouTube headquarters. Like... That's why it's frustrating. It's like y'all are talking to me like I'm some pleb new person that like just started monetizing their channel and I fucking probably know more about YouTube than you do. I just don't know what to do when the computer decides that I did a no-no. And not even necessarily that I did a no-no. That a no-no was done against my channel. Right? <laughs> anyway the whole situation has left a very sour situation S sour s s blah, blah, blah. the whole situation has left a sour taste in my mouth like if you even if you can't answer my question just make me feel like you actually read my question partner support don't just like <laughs> shove this vaguely related canned response at me okay i think hey free coming in with the raid and the resub we are uh, a goodly portion through this manicure we are almost about to do top coat Woo. Woo. thank you so much for the six months I appreciate that uwu kraken welcome on in yeah Jay thank you for the shout out yeah this is so good I'm really pleased with how the uh, the squares placed themselves because I was not paying them any special attention. Um, and like not too mad about my application, but this little bit of cleanup was needed. Well, you were doing some fall guys. Nice. How'd that go? I should, I should, you know, I'm, I need to start curating the wheel for Sunday. I probably, I should put fall guys on there. Maybe. Should I include community games on there or no, chat? Do you guys want to participate or do you guys want to watch? Four crowns. Nice. Dude, I... I do remember winning Fall Guys like once or twice, but... There's only like... I would say there's like three games I'm good at. Like if you get me the three games I'm good at, then I'm good. And if you put any other games in there, I'm dead. And I will cry. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I, I feel like it's been a very, very long time since we did Fall Guys, and it probably has been. Because I think we were going to do it on New Year's, and then we ended up doing uh, Chef Squad almost all night. Or did I do Variety 
the variety wheel on New Year's too. Brie, if you, by the way, if you have uh, post dream self care, please don't let me keep you. If you like to get cozy, we're going to top coat this. This is I cannot remember the name. Inside job. We're gonna top coat it, and then when I'm done with that. Well, it's in the title too, I guess. I was Surprise, it's not a surprise, it's in the title. I'm going to be doing some more Hades too, because it turns my brain off. <clears throat> my tea is gone. At some point, perhaps, we'll have dinner also. <clears throat> okay, where is my sesh feet? Here it is. We may need two coats. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. Also, Raiders, hello. My name is Colette. I am a nail artist and variety streamer. Purple's my favorite color, so I love this color a lot. <sighs> yeah, for sure, Brie. Ooh, I bet that picks up the blue really nicely, Flamingo. Okay. Top coat. Alright. You want a pretty decent coat of top coat. Although it's not like super texturedy texturedy it's not super textured but it's not completely smooth oh my god look at that with the top coat whoa So nice. Now, I don't know how much it's going to drink it. We might need a second coat. But I do think, like, I think Christine recommends a second coat. But I do think Sechevite is a bit thicker than Glossy Taco. See, we're getting a bit of texture there coming through. Let me do my other hand. Now the question is shortly going to be, do I dive right into Hades or do I have a bite to eat? Maybe I just eat a massive quantity of sun chips again. That worked pretty well yesterday. Sun chips are great. Oh, 
Or I could switch it up and have other kind of chips. Hmm. Or both, maybe. I feel like that little bit of texture kind of showed up and then went away again. See, look at this one right now. See that bit of texture showing up in the reflection? Look how there's actually less. This is my left hand. This is my right hand I just finished. The left hand was looking like this, where you could see like some of the texture as the glitter started drinking the top coat. And then this, this is the left hand that's had longer dry time. I think is another great example of Sesh Viet doing its thing self-leveling. Oh, hey, points. Isn't that interesting? Because I checked, I was like, no, I saw some texture, and now it's like less. I love Sesh Viet. For reasons such as this. Like, that's really... Not just cool, but also good. I mean, it still might need, a, like, a second coat. Like, but right now, I kind of feel like it doesn't. You know what it needs. Y'all know what it needs. <clears throat> That's just so good. Can this sit up here? Last time I tried to balance my phone up here, my ring light almost fell down. It's just great. <laughs> Redeems a back chat. Muslim comp. Muslim chung. Mm, so we have one, two. We have two trades redeemed right now. Also, Trina, congrats on first and Flamingo on firster. Wow. I like that a lot. We're a little bit out of focus here, so you can't quite fully see. I wonder if we could get, let's, uh, hold on. Like, look at the, tri uh, the squares. Yeah, see them in there? In the jelly. Sorry, my ears just unstuffed. I was kind of uncomfortable. Twenty nine is forever. 
This polish is juicy AF MSOP gargling MSOP gargling MSOP gargling MSOP gargling MSOP gargling MSOP gargling. It it really is. It really is juicy AF. Naki, thank you for the 29 months. I appreciate that. Also, GG on first dust. <clears throat> also, Melissa with another baby pet. Shocked that people didn't uh, completely swarm the beanie treats i'm giving it just another like minute because uh just to let my polish dry a little more because beanie does not like nail polish look at that quite smooth like a little bit of texture We'll see. Something else I found too. I don't know. Do you guys do this? Like if you're, if you're, if you have a glitter that is really, really, really drinking top coat, instead of just doing two coats of top coat right away, do a coat of top coat and not just quick dry, dry, but like fully, fully let it dry and don't come back with the second coat of top coat until like later that day. Hmm. And then I feel like it gets uh, absorbed less. Mr. Bainey. Hi, you good boy. Yeah, nails are quite dry enough to pet Bainey. I don't know though, can you still smell it? Yeah, he doesn't like... It should be fine for my palm though. He'll probably be fine. Yeah. This boy. This nice boy. Hi. How's him? Can you come up here? Do you want me to just put it in your chair? Here, why don't you back up a little bit? Go ahead. Oh, that's off camera. Here, back up a little bit more. <laughs> Hi, how's this one? This one has a tummy. You coming over here? You're gonna try and jack the, the treats. I know you. Oh. oh yeah, the gel top coat. No, you can't run over there and sneak them. You have to wait. <laughs> he doesn't want to wait. Definitely, definitely gorgeous. Okay. Do I take a dinner break? It's eight o'clock. <sighs> I 
I'm not really hungry. Like I'm slight, so I like I'm slightly hungry enough that like cooking dinner doesn't sound appealing, but that a snack sounds appealing, and I'm like, well, a snack probably would ruin your appetite, Strimmer. And I'm kind of like, well, yeah, but. Also, I don't know what's for dinner. Which is a separate part of the problem, chat. Um. I think I either get to have, like, a frozen dinner or a frozen pizza. I think that's our options. In which case, like, a frozen dinner wouldn't even really take that long to put in the microwave. Hmm. Spicy, cheesy ramen. That sounds good. Like, noodles? Ooh, I could have, like, noodles. I have a frozen noodles. Hmm. Maybe I could... Okay. You guys want to play? Okay. <clears throat> if you're in the future on YouTube, thanks for hanging out. Please feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to join me live, twitch.tv slash kletmslp. This is the end of the nails. We're going to go do other things. We're going to go do game things. And this is a segue. But I hope you, I hope you all enjoyed YouTube future people and the the whining about youtube isn't at all about my youtube community it's literally just about youtube